Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling and Cooking with me, A.B. Now you guys read the title, you know what we making, we making stuffed pasta shells. And check this out, I'm gonna go ahead and do a spoiler alert. Look, there it is right there, let me go ahead and make it uh, focus. You wanna talk about, you know, sexy, packs a lot of flavor, this is it right here. So listen, I don't wanna over talk it, I just wanna show you guys just how easy it is to make. And you know, for those who've been following this channel for a little while, you know that I always say, listen, I'm trying to take the mystery out of cooking. And you know, with today's society, how busy we are, you know what, we just wanna come in, throw something together. And when I say throw something together, I mean like in a timely fashion, we just wanna put this meal together. And then, you know, you wanna serve this to your family or yourself, however you wanna do it. But listen, you wanna have something that just, you know, that's out of sight. Again, listen, stuffed pasta shells, not going over talking, let's get right into the video. Now right here, whenever possible, go ahead and get yourself some fresh parsley. You know, fresh herbs are like the best. And right here, I'm just going ahead. I'm just uh, dicing them up, getting them ready. And then, you know, I just wanted to make like at least a quarter cup. You can make a little bit more, because at the end, you want to save a little bit so you can get your garnish together. And then right here, again, you know what? Fresh is best. This is some live basil. Hey, hands down, fresh basil, fresh parsley is the best. And then right here, I already got four cups of ricotta cheese already in the bowl. Then you want to add your two eggs. We're going to add our Parmesan, our mozzarella, our fresh herb. And don't forget, we're going to save some of our uh, basil and some of the parsley. Just enough at the, you know, for when we're done cooking at the end, we want to garnish. So again, don't forget you want to add your uh, salt and your black pepper. After that, then you want to mix it all together and then we go from there. Now, the one thing you guys didn't see me do, and that's boil large jumbo uh, pasta. There was no need for me to do that, uh, to show you how to do that. So listen, when you buy them, it's just one box of large jumbo shells and then follow the instructions. So when you're done, you wanna let them cool and that makes them easy to handle when you get ready to start putting your stuff inside of them. After you have all of your ingredients in your bowl, this right here is where you wanna mix them all well get them mixed thoroughly then set them off to the side go ahead and get your dish that you're going to be you know baking in and here i'm using emerald's home style marinara listen i love it this is like the best you know the best store-bought uh marinara that i've ever uh, tasted eventually i'm going to do a uh video on how to make a marinade you know from scratch but right now you know what i mean for our busy schedule and you know you're looking for that great taste this right here is the one now what you saw there was, I just coated the bottom of our, our bacon dish, you know, just lightly with a little bit of the marinara sauce. And here you see me sprinkling some herbs. This part right here is uh, truly optional. And then you'll see me sprinkling some cheese. Again, it's just optional. I just like the way it looks. So once we're done, you know, coating the bottom, if you do this step, fine. If you don't, that's good too. Uh, that's cool too. Go ahead and get yourself a freezer bag. Now listen, this is going to be like a little pro tip. This is what's going to make it easy to stuff your uh, shells. Instead of you taking a spoon and stuffing them, listen, you want to fill up your Ziploc bag. You know, you want to completely fill it up with all your ricotta, your ricotta uh, cheese and all your stuffing. You want to put that in there, seal the bag and look. Then we're going to cut the corner and we're going to squeeze it. And we're going to use that corner to insert inside the jumbo shells. And that's how we're going to stuff them. Now after you cut the corner, listen, you just want to insert the corner inside. You want to open up the jumbo shell and then you just want to insert it, squeeze the Ziploc bag and just, it depends on how much uh, stuffing you want to put in there. You know what I mean? That's totally up to you. But you can see right here, look, the more you put in there, the bigger they are. I love the cheesy ricotta, uh, you know, mozzarella taste. You know, to me, that's the Italian flavor. I love it. So I stuff them a kind of big. Now, right now, your mouth should be watering. Look, here we go. Just add a little of the marinade, marinade sauce, you know, inside of a scoop. You can use a spoon or you can actually pour it. This way, by me using this little scoop right here, this was, uh, you know, where I had a little bit of control. I just added some lightly over the top, came back with some mozzarella cheese, 
and then some Parmesan cheese and then sprinkle some herbs over the top and then we put it in the oven. Listen, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and we're going to put it in the oven for about 15, uh, it depends on your oven, so I'm going to say anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this, listen, we got to go ahead and put some foil over the top. So when we go in the oven, that's 15 to 20 minutes with it covered with foil and then we bring it out and we take a look at it. Now for me, after 17 minutes, I removed it from the oven. I turned my oven up to 400 degrees. I removed the foil and then I put it back in the oven for about five minutes or until all the cheese is melted at that 400 degrees. And that there is stuffed pasta shells. So tell me what you guys think about that there. Super easy to make, huh? If you guys been following this channel, you know that this channel is all about just showing how you can just make these delicious, sexy dishes, you know, like in a super easy, you know, quick times. You know what I mean? Uh, just, just the fact that, you know, we live these busy schedules. Some of us are soccer moms. We're taking kids to, uh, we're taking kids to practice, things of that nature. So we need a meal that would just be like super easy to make, that's quick and then again it packs a lot of like a lot of flavor hey so check this out i got this right here on the plate and i got my twin cousin mm. come on e-dub there you go hey you guys say what's up to e-dub and listen he gonna go ahead and do a taste test and that's right y'all heard me i said my twin cousin go ahead and do your thing bro. you tell me It's like he just flew me to Italy. <laughs> hey, y'all heard it. Listen, e dubs approved. You know what I mean? Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and show you like this. You know, here it is, plated. And uh, I'm getting ready to tear into it myself. So, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and... Uh, I see you getting down with it, huh? That's right, go ahead and do your thing. So, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and take the time to welcome you to my channel. You know what? Don't forget to subscribe, you know, like this video. And if you want to see more content, you know, some more quick, easy, sexy dishes, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And with that being said, you guys, you know what? I'm out. Peace. <laughs>